Good afternoon and welcome to another installment of the Logan Drilling Report. Before we go any further, the 2019 elections are upon us and election day will be here before we know it. For more information about the legislative races going on in your area and to see who Logpack has endorsed, visit goelections.com. Also, the Southern Energy Conference is right around the corner. To engage with industry and political leaders in Louisiana, be sure to register. This is an event you do not want to miss. Let's do this! The WTI is up to $56.45. Louisiana Light Suite up to $59.65. September Henry Hub up to $2.39. The U.S. rig count activity continues to decline, losing another six rigs for a total of 898. Now to Louisiana. In North Louisiana on the west side, absolutely no changes in the Haynesville Shell. Still 30 rigs. DeSoto Parish with nine, Bossier, Caddo, Red River, and Sabine at four, Natchitoches with three, and Bienville at two rigs. Also on the west side, we have two rigs in Lincoln Parish. On the Monroe side, no activity to report. North Louisiana remains at 32 rigs. Now moving on to the Austin Chalk. The Austin Chalk is down to just one rig in Avoyles Parish by Torrent Oil. Moving to South Louisiana, on land we lose another two rigs for just one rig in Calcasieu Parish. Inland waters, we have just one rig in Plaquemines Parish. South Louisiana loses one rig for a total of two. Moving even further south, we have one rig in state offshore waters by Cantium and Bay Marchand Block 2. In federal waters, we remain at 25 rigs. For this report, Louisiana loses two rigs for a total of 61. Now to permits. In shallow water, we have two, both by Byron Energy in South Marsh Island, Block 71. In deep water, we have two, one by BP in Green Canyon, Block 825, and one by Shell in Mississippi Canyon, Block 522. On land, we have three permits pulled in three parishes, one in Bienville by Covey Park Gas, one in Lafouche by Castex Energy, and one in LaSalle by Rab Contracting Company. Want a little more information? Be sure and check out the Office of Conservation's website. Thank you for listening, and be sure to share it with the folks you know. Don't forget to follow Logo for up-to-date news on the oil and gas industry in Louisiana. And until next time, this is Jordan Gleason with Logo TV.